His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There is a vomit on his sweaters already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes around. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how everybody's choking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. <sighs> you simply are scared of public speaking. And I know you had this feeling. You're standing in front of a group of people and suddenly your mind becomes blank. If public speaking makes you feel this way, you're not alone. Today we're diving into how you can turn this fear into confidence. Yes, and it is manageable, whether it's presentation, meeting, or simply speaking up in class. Here is the thing. Public speaking is one of the most common fears in the world. Can you imagine it? And it's not just you. We're all being there. And having this tight knot in the stomach, it's not really comfortable. And we have to get rid of it. So why does it happen? Well, it's because this is our brain's fight or flight response. You're not actually in danger. Whether it's picking up in meeting, in class, or giving off your project, the fear can be really paralyzing. I remember my first big presentation, and it was a disaster. My hands were sweaty, my words cracked, I couldn't stand still, I was shaking, and I was convinced that everybody around me was judging me or simply laughing. But here is the crazy part. Most people even didn't notice. After my talk, they came to me and said that it was great, I did well. I was shocked. And that's when I realized that I am an overachiever and perfectionist. And it's not all about being perfect. In fact, it's all about not being perfect. People love when they see relatable stuff. They want to resonate in some way with you. And people are not perfect. However, it's about being prepared and confident in your message. So what happens when we let this fear hold us back? Simple, we miss opportunities opportunities to share ideas, to lead, and to connect with other people. Avoiding public speaking doesn't make this fear suddenly go away. It only makes it worse, and it limits your potential. But the good news is, everybody, everyone can overcome this fear. And yes, even you. So, let's go. Here are three strategies that changed my game when it came to public speaking. And I promise you, they will also work for you. First one, prepare, but don't over-prepare. First, preparation is key to your success, whether it's public speaking or taking tests or whatever you have on your to-do list. But here is a catch. We don't want to over-prepare, over-rehearse, because it can actually make it worse for you. When you rehearse too much, you can easily get stuck into robot mode, and in the end, you We don't want this. We want some emotions. We want some natural flow in the speech. Instead, focus on understanding your material. And I really do mean understand, not learn it by heart. Know your key points, but allow some flexibility in your speech. Be natural, be relatable. Second, reframe your anxiety. And what if I told you that those butterflies in your stomach aren't your enemies? They are your allies. In fact, they're a sign that your body is getting ready to perform. And... I urge you to reframe this anxiety into excitement. Channel that energy into enthusiasm. Remind yourself that, yes, it's okay to be nervous. And probably nobody even noticed this. Some adrenaline, some non-epinephrine can actually help you. And my third technique is start small. 
build confidence first. You don't need to begin giving a TED talk. And even if you do, still stay here. <laughs> Start by speaking up in smaller settings, like team meetings, study groups, or one-on-one -on -one conversations. Every time you speak, you're building your confidence. I also want to share my personal story. Almost in every single video, I'm sharing my personal story. Isn't it hilarious? Okay, so when I first set up my YouTube channel, I was really nervous about speaking up to a camera, not even a person. And so I was really struggling with this. I felt a bit nervous, so felt ashamed. My palms were sweating, knees were weak, and arms were heavy. <laughs> and I really didn't understand how can I perform the camera, let alone enjoy it and uh, engage in my audience. But with time, I got used to this. And now I absolutely love this. I love giving up the emotions, I love uh, giving this body language, even though it might be too much, but I absolutely love this. And this fortifies my message that with practice, everything gets better. And you can learn only from practice, not simply from reading or highlighting. Only practice, only action. Now I'm gonna give you real-life scenario and uh, you will test yourself. Picture this. You've been asked to present during a team meeting, but your anxiety creeps in and you have to deal with this somehow fast. So I reviewed our sales numbers and I'd like to point out some uh, trends that we should focus in our next quarter. First of all, that shift from anxious to confidence it's all about shifting your mindset first and then taking action. What matters is how you recover, how you stay on your message and stay confident while you're giving this message. Public speaking isn't just a skill, it's a real superpower. It allows you to connect, to inspire and to lead in ways that you cannot even imagine and that can change your life. By facing your fear head on, you're not just overcoming anxiety, but you're also developing a crucial, powerful tool for yourself. So what's your next step? I want to give you a challenge. I want you to try one of these strategies next time you're giving off your presentation, speaking up in class, or simply presenting your work. And let me know in the comments down below how it went. I really hope you did like this video. Please share your opinions in the comments down below. Give me your thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I really want to see you in my next videos. Goodbye.